Hey, 49ers fans! Our team is charged up with exciting updates that have sparked collective enthusiasm. Some supporters may feel hesitant, finding it tricky to grasp the unfolding story. Hit subscribe to show your backing for the 49ers and join us in uncovering the intricate layers of this groundbreaking news. The situation at the cornerback position for the San Francisco 49ers is notably improved compared to previous years. Yet concerns about the secondary remain as they shape their roster for the 2024 season. San Francisco boasts an impressive starting pair with second-team All-Pro Charvarius Ward and Diomedor Lenoir, who showcased remarkable versatility last season by alternating between outside corner and slot duties during the Niners' journey to the Super Bowl. However, depth has long been an issue for the 49ers at cornerback which became apparent in the heartbreaking end to an outstanding season as veteran Logan Ryan filled the slot position in the overtime loss to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Ambry Thomas, who had been playing on the outside during nickel downs when Lenoir moved inside, was benched after struggling in the previous two playoff games. The 49ers have taken steps to address this depth concern in free agency by signing Isaac Yadam to a one-year deal. Yadam is coming off an impressive season with the New Orleans Saints, where he recorded 14 pass breakups and held opponents to a completion percentage of just 38.5%, tying for fourth best among cornerbacks with at least 25 targets. He ranked ninth in yards per attempt allowed, 5.1, and finished 13th in positive play rate allowed, 35.9%, according to Sports Info Solutions. However, with several prominent players still available after a bustling first week in free agency, ESPN's Bill Barnwell has identified the 49ers as the ideal landing spot for former All-Pro corner Tredavious White, who would eliminate any concerns about cornerback depth. White was released by the Buffalo Bills before free agency in a move to save cap space after dealing with several seasons hampered by injuries. Barnwell noted, San Francisco has solidified its top two corners with Diomedor Lenoir and Charvarius Ward, but the third spot remains uncertain. Throughout the 2023 season, we saw teams target Ambry Thomas, prompting the Niners to bench him in the Super Bowl in favor of Logan Ryan. A miscommunication between Ryan and Ward resulted in McColl Hardman's touchdown that clinched the Super Bowl. With Lenoir shifting to the slot in San Francisco's sub-packages, White could step in as the outside corner while easing back into action after his Achilles injury. One could argue that Yadam's arrival has already provided the 49ers with the flexibility to move Lenoir inside without relying on Thomas. However, there's the counter-argument that San Francisco is still just one cornerback injury away from depending on their inconsistent third-round pick. Bringing in White, an All-Pro in 2019, would give the 49ers four cornerbacks with recent histories of delivering top-tier performances, with Lenoir allowing a passer rating of 56.4, ranking ninth among corners with at least 50 targets last year. Not many teams can boast such depth, but the 49ers would undoubtedly benefit from signing White if he can stay healthy and regain the form that led to a league-leading six interceptions in 2019, following his torn ACL in 2021 and torn Achilles in Week 4 of last season. The 49ers have emphasized adding durable players this offseason and have not yet scheduled a visit with White. However, signing him would be a calculated risk with the potential for significant rewards, strengthening a critical position that has often been a cause for concern. If they haven't done so already, it would be wise for the Niners to reach out to White.